This is an Eden World Traveler WT1205 base app, and they are very finicky beasts, a little bit noisy, a lot expensive. Uh, I have fixed them in the past when they've had problems with the output boards. Uh, it is not fun. I don't like doing it. Uh, the documentation on these things is terrible. The schematic has errors. The schematic does not sh show the entire circuit. More on that in just a moment. And um, there's just so much stuff that it could be, and it's really hard to, to uh, you can't test it until it's in place. You got to take it out to change the thing. You can't test and see if that's everything that you that needs until it's back in place. So it can be a money pit. In this case, though, the amp seemed to the owner to power on, and that he would hit the front power switch light, and there would it would turn red, but nothing else happened. And uh, I measured voltages on the secondaries in this thing. And uh, you can turn that power switch on all you want, have that red light all you want. Uh, there's no other power to the amp uh, on the secondaries or DC stuff. Uh, you know, uh, none of the LEDs were coming on. There was no power uh, for any of the op amps. And um, it had this uh, thermistor in here on one of the primaries of this toroidal power transformer. And I was really hoping that it would be this because that's an inexpensive thing. I don't think it's this, and I, I, I cut it off and I bridged these temporarily, but I can resolder those and heat shrink those, and that, that'll look factory. That's that's a no big deal. That's a spicy meatball. I don't know why I said that. That's no big deal. Um, and at that point, I was very concerned that we just had a dead power transformer because I could measure the voltage uh, was good inside on the, on the AC stuff and seemed to just go straight to this uh, transformer, but then I found tucked away down at the bottom this big obsolete, thank you very much Eden, uh, fuse thing uh, that all the secondary or some of the secondaries were going to and then going from there to here. So I suspect that this old thermal fuse is the culprit. I had some thermal paste. I need to get some more of that stuff that now is a good time. But it is obsolete, so now i got to track one of these down. I think this is what is keeping this amp from powering on. And if I can get this part, if I can find one, it should be less than 20 bucks. And uh, labor won't be much because I'm just doing some stuff in one area, assuming that's all that's wrong with the amp. Unless something else in the amp is causing this to blow, but that should not happen. Uh, that's unlikely. So it's possible that this guy will get an inexpensive repair. Uh, but I, if, once I find the part and know how much it will cost and where I can get it, I've got to call him and let him know that um, it's kind of a Hail Mary. Uh, that should probably make this come on. It's also possible that it does have a bit dead power transformer, but it's just much more likely that it's that thermal fuse ahead of it. So we'll see where we're at and whether I can save this guy a lot of money. If you have one of these beasts, I highly suggest you sell it while it still works and get something else. Um, base amps, bases kind of get screwed in, in, in that regard and that everything now is going to little bitty five pound or less lightweight 3000 watt miracle boxes. Uh, they're all using class D stuff um, that maybe will last a year or two. Base, base amps are really getting into the era of the disposable app. Um, so it's kind of like a laptop or a, a smartphone. Expect to replace it every three years. Uh, but that said, you can get a little Aguilar Class D for like five, six hundred dollars. That's, in my opinion, a better app than this. So if you have a big beast like this, now is the time to sell, sell, sell.